The lady keeps the skies. Where blows the morning wind? Korth grants mountain shelter. Hack on blooded hide and bone. Take this gift from Runa Lear's daughter. I'm the Inquisitor from the lands below. I just felt something. A blessing? That's a good sign. You bring fine luck, Harold. All right, then. Moving on. I agree. Be welcome, Inquisitor. Though I fear I've time for little more than a greeting. I must prepare these souls for their greater journey. Particularly those who depart without the reverence due. Their way is often hardest. I'm not familiar with Avar funerals. May I ask what proper rites entail? When the time comes, we are given sky burials. For most, the body is laid out and prayers given. When the birds come, they carry the soul to the Lady of the Skies. The body, unneeded, is gone. For most? Some souls, such as Colden's, are chosen to return. The Augur reads the signs at birth. It is a rare honor. In order to return, an offering is made to Korth the Mountain Father and buried beneath the body. A piece of the soul thus remains allowing the rest to return to this world and be reborn. Will someone not be given proper rights? Calden Enverson is one of the few whose soul may return. Bloodkin must make an offering to the Huntmaster who prepares it. Or so it should be. Calden's son, Finn, has failed in this duty, but then... there's you. Me? You're a guest of our hold. A gift from you cannot be refused. Even an offering for Golden. I cannot dictate the nature of a gift, but if my suggestion appeals to you, speak to the Huntmaster. Golden's son is injured. It's not his fault he can't make the offering. As disappointing as that may be, it is not my place to ignore the gods' laws on a whim. I honor them in word and spirit, Inquisitor. You suggested a way around tradition by letting me make the offering. Spirits have seen Finn fail. To undo it may be to undo their will. A gift from another does not bear this weight. Calden's soul could travel easily. I should be off. Lady, keep you. May I help you?
Victor. I spoke to the woman preparing bodies for funeral. She said I might make an offering for Calden. How would... as a gift? Sly woman. In that case, I'll accept an offering from the hand that gives it. Tradition says the offering's made to Korth. Only creatures who touch the gods' realm will do. I'll mark where some were last spotted. It'd be an unmatched gift, Lowlander. I still pity Calden's son, though. Losing his father's name. What do you mean? Finn failed to complete the rites. That'll see him disowned when the burial's complete. He's fatherless, whether you do this or not, Inquisitor. Seeing it done will give him some peace, I imagine. Farewell. Farewell. for the offering. No one said a gift to the hold had to include everyone. A gift for someone's son. Kind though that may be, it bends the laws of their tradition. It's something to consider.
Ava, Pierre, and a mortiser. I've come to consult with your soldiers on matters pertaining to natural regret. The beasts of these woods are fierce, and I fear they've already claimed the life of my dear, devoted scribe. What are you doing out here? Once, I was content to remain in the safety of my estate. Then, with the passing of my uncle, I was obliged to join an expedition to the stranger parts of Thedas. How little of our natural world is understood. What terrors creep across the soil while we lie ignorant and ill-prepared. You knew what I do of the common fennec. What could sleep? From that day onward, I have studied the wilds and the beasts therein. Are my soldiers running into problems? They face delays establishing camps due to pests of various nature. Uh, I offer to consider the matter. There is an herb mixture. Correctly placed, it could ward beasts away from their supplies. I would not presume to further involve myself in your organization's military affairs. Perhaps I might entrust this to you. I should go. Inquisitor. 